Hey there again. So following on from the previous first listen video, here are raw recordings of the single dynamic driver 20 pound Lon BL01. Now the 01 apparently incorporates changes to address reported issues with a much height blonde BL03, including a longer stem to improve seal in the ear canal, a tighter, less boomy bass, and a more detailed and less rolled off treble. Now I was initially very disappointed with their sound, which possessed reasonable bass and treble and improved after the first few hours of the recommended 60 hour burning period, but still had very cheap, thin and coloured sounding mid, even after trying different tips, including foam tips. They got loud at half max volume on my old Samsung S7 and amping made no significant difference to the sound quality. The sound then is V-shaped with lower mids particularly and so male vocals pulled back in the mix thinner and less clear, rich and natural than other frequencies, meaning the emotion is lost. After the box on, I prefer the sound of even some budget wireless earbuds like the Orky EPT27, which while they may not have so much detail resolution, are overall better balanced tonally and deliver a more convincing, coherent and ultimately emotionally moving performance. After EQ, however, these were transformed into something not just listenable, but positively pleasurable. Trying to find flaws is a slightly artificial metallic treble and bass response that's not the most impactful or extended, but a very enjoyable presentation that seduces rather than assaults you with slam without missing any of the energy of performance. So today I'm comparing them against the previously hyped and well regarded TRN V80 that has two dynamic drivers and two balanced armatures, which is between 50 and 40 pounds depending on how quickly you want them. They have a clear natural sound without equalization. However, their main flaw is an exaggerated and sometimes too sharp and piercing treble that can be tamed by either securing some filter material like tissue paper, foam or cotton wool into the nozzle or through EQ. They were replaced by the TRN V90 with one dynamic driver and four VAs, whose main difference according to the Chinese IEM reviewer extraordinaire Vortex is less exaggerated and less fatiguing treble straight out of the box. So I'm also throwing in my Android audiophile bargains, the Samsung EHS64, around three pounds into the mix as a budget reference. Now these have a balanced, warm, natural sound with a little less detail and resolution than the others, but are nevertheless very enjoyable and the detail probably wouldn't be missed by those not familiar with higher end quality audio. Now these are simple raw recordings using my Zoom H1 microphone and I'll include the usual slide with caveats about how to interpret them. So put on your best headphones and take a listen for yourself. Welcome to GI Chow. Do you make out the differences and if so do you think the difference in sound is worth the difference in price or would you rather pay more for something that these earphones are missing 
Well, as usual, drop or like a comment below. Use affiliate links to support more impartial content. And if you've got value and like high quality mobile audio tech and well-being in your life at the lowest price, touch subscribe for more. And thanks as always to all my subscribers. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.